Hello, this is Richard from the PMA ODK Baltimore team. And today I'm going to show you how to upload an ODK form to an online server. So for this exercise, um, let's navigate to an online test server. Um, and um, use, let's use the uh, a test server here. We're gonna log in with our standardized PMA credentials here with the username form manager and use its corresponding password. Um, just a side note, if you do not know those credentials, please ask your in-country data manager or someone from the Baltimore team. Let's log in. Uh, next, you'll navigate to the form management tab up here and click on add new form right here on the left side. Um, you'll want to choose a file here for the form definition XML, which is your ODK XML file. Let's use an example here. I have a client exit interview XML file here that I will select. Next are your optional media files, such as pictures that you are using in your ODK form or any other external, external data files. Here I have three media files that I will include with my ODK file. Next, I will click on the upload form. And then you'll wait until you get this uh, confirmation page. Uh, next. You can see that your file was successfully uploaded here. You can see how many media files were in your upload with the form ID, the user ID who selected it, uh, the downloadable checkbox, and the accept submission checkbox. Um, as you can see on this screen, as you upload many, many ODK forms on the server, um, it's best practice to use a file name version control by including a version number in the form title and the form ID. Here in my example, I use the client exit version four in the title, and again, version four, version four in the form ID. Um, lastly, for any outdated form, just uncheck the downloadable button 